The other day, one of the students was asking me about dryers. They asked me, why do we need dryers? Well, I was trying to tell him that there are two different types of dryers. There's the suction line filter dryer, and then there's a liquid line filter dryer. Let me talk about the liquid line filter dryer. The liquid line filter dryer, first of all, is going to be installed right, like the name implies, in the liquid line. It's going to go right in the liquid line. So it is also going to do what? What does a filter dryer do? Well, it filters and then it dries. It filters and it dries. It dries means to remove the moisture, to remove the moisture from the system. To filter means to trap the dirt that's in the system. So inside here, what we're going to do is we're going to have a core. This core is going to have desiccant in it. Desiccant is a, is a component that traps the moisture. If it's water, if it's moisture, it's going to trap it. It's going to hold on to it, but it can only hold a certain amount. So that's your drying. When it filters, filtering, well, basically it's just going to trap the dirt as it try as the refrigerant comes through here and there's small particles in there, it's going to get trapped right there. It gets trapped and now it cannot go through, but the refrigerant, the liquid refrigerant will go through, so this is going to dry it. On the outlet, hopefully, we're going to have a side glass. We have a side glass on here. This side glass is so you can see into the system, so you can see that you have a full column of liquid or not. Now, let's get back to the dryer. This liquid line filter dryer is going to trap the dirt. That's the purpose of it, and it's going to dry the system. Now, how do you know that this needs to be replaced? How do you know that you know it's bad? Well, it's not that difficult. Really, what you need to look for, it is a temperature difference. Temperature difference. On this side, you're going to have 100% liquid going into the dryer. On this other side, you should also have 100% liquid. But if this is clogged up, it's going to create a pressure drop. When it creates a pressure drop on the other side, what might happen is you might have what they call flash gas. You're going to have bubbles of refrigerant in there, just like in the metering device. 100% liquid comes in, and then 7525 comes out. Here, 100% liquid comes in, and let's say 10% of it turns into vapor. So that means that you only have 90% liquid going through there. So you're going to have lots of bubbles through here. And in the side glass, yeah, you're going to have you're going to see bubbles also. So now because of this flash gas, just like in the metering device, refrigerant comes in, you have flash gas, temperature drops. So now when we grab this side of the dryer and we grab the other side of the dryer, we're going to see that there's a temperature difference. Because there's a temperature difference, we know that now we have a restriction. And this liquid line filter dryer is going to have to be replaced. So that's the best way to tell whether your liquid line filter dryer needs to be replaced or not. It does not take much to grab the liquid line on one side or grab the dryer on one side and then grab it on the other side. You feel a temperature difference and then you know that that dryer needs to be replaced. So this is about it for the liquid line filter dryer. Um, hope you enjoyed it and if you can take a look at my webpage airconacademy.com. I have other videos and I have some classes on there. So I'll do another video on the suction line filter dryer soon enough.